Dear students, today we will discuss about design patterns. So these are predefined, pre-developed model for solving a recurring problem in software design. So what is a recurring problem? Recurring problem is that problem which you try to solve again and again. So whatever the problem you are focusing or for which you want to build the software or software program, you are not the first one in the world to solve that problem. There might be number of people who have solved that problem using different ways. And the authentic and pre-developed uh, best possible model which has been used by any of the previous uh, programmer can be considered as a design pattern and that design pattern is a guideline that you should solve this problem using that particular design pattern and that is already authenticated and tested and verified and validated. So this will give you a chance that your uh, software, developed software will have no errors or very few errors. So one of the example of design pattern is adopter pattern. So for example, you have a prefabricated module that have all the functionality needed to solve the problem at hand, but may not have an interface that is compatible with the current application. So adopter pattern provides a standard approach. So let's have an example. So we have a uh, charger and we have a switch that have only two legs and the socket where we can put this thing has three legs. So this can give us electricity and this is our for example laptop charger that needs electricity. But this cannot be connected with this socket because this has two legs and here we need three holes. So here you can see another switch which takes two inputs. So this can be connected with this using this interface which have two legs and then these three legs can be connected with the socket. So this means that this particular uh, thing is an adopter pattern which try to adopt in a particular situation. So then there is another design pattern known as decorator pattern. So used when designing a system that performs different combinations of the same activity depending upon on the situation at that time. We have explosions of options available and decorator pattern provides a standardized way of implementing such system that leads to a manageable solution. So for example, we want to make pizza. We have dough available here and there are number of options available. For example, we have chicken, we have cheese, we have vegetables, etc. So if we want to make a chicken pizza, we can arrange things in the required order to make this chicken pizza from the dough. Similarly, from the similar dough, we can make the vegetable pizza by arranging the things in that particular order. So that decorates. So what is the goal of design pattern? The goal is that we should try to identify the recurring problem. You should try to understand or the whole community sh should try to understand that this is the problem not faced at a very first time. There are multiple people who have tried this problem and have tried to solve this problem. So what is first is the identification and then creation and cataloging of design pattern for solving them and making them available to the other community is an ongoing process of soft engineering. It has not finished. We are always trying to invent the design patterns based on the recurring problems. And then goal is not to identify the solution. In fact, the goal is to identify the best solution flexible for future changes. 
So if we summarize today's module, we have learned about very basics of design pattern, why we need them, and we have discussed two patterns, adopter pattern and decorator pattern, and we have discussed that what is the concern and the goal of software engineering when trying to identify wrecking problem and then when trying to identify the best possible solution. In the next module, we will discuss some other design patterns as well.